Hi, welcome to this week's episode on active listening. So before we begin, I would love to share with you a personal experience of mine during my recent market study on customer service and sales. So it was one random evening and I was walking in one of the famous shopping malls in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And I walked into a retail store and I would just love to check out uh, the differences of the recent launch of the iPhone X, XX and uh, XR. So I walked in and I wanted to know what are different packages available. So I was greeted by this one retail assistant and she came with a very negative posture. And I asked her, Miss, would you mind to share a bit more about the package? So she showed me the table calendar, the information kit, and I asked her, so could you tell me the difference? So with a very negative uh, defensive body language, with even without proper eye contact, and she said, sir, you can check it out yourself. For the third time, I asked her, so what's the difference? And she told me this one thing, oh, sir, price different, you can check it online. So I was annoyed. And this serves as a constant reminder to me and even to you that it is really very important to make people like you. Liking comes before selling. And that's the reason why today, this principle called active listening can help you so that your prospects and your customers can establish liking towards you. So let me share with you six key points on active listening. And I call this absorb. You have to absorb what your clients, your customers, your prospects are telling you. So you let them feel that you are listening to them, paying attention to what they say. So let's begin with A, acknowledge. During the conversation, when they're speaking to you, you have to acknowledge what they say. For example, you may use words like, ah, great, oh, that's right. So you're going to show that you're interested and let them feel that you're listening to them so they feel they're being understood. Next, it's B, body language. Always remember this one point. When you're speaking to them, face them. Have direct body orientation, body posture when you're speaking to them. Keep your arms open and do not ever, ever fold your arms and your legs as well. Next one, suspend judgment. No, people jump to conclusion, that's one. But as a salesperson, please do not let this cloud your vision. Suspend judgment. Do not judge your prospect based on how they look. Even though they're wearing shorts and sandals walking to your stall, don't judge them that they can't buy from you. Suspend judgment. Do not jump into conclusion. Be curious what they say and ask more questions. Which leads to O. Have the habits of asking open-ended questions. Questions that can't be answered with yes or no. And one of the most powerful questions you can ever ask in the sales process is to ask, what do you think? So once you have told them a few points, you can say, Sir, would you mind to tell me what do you think? What do you think? Simple, powerful question to involve them in the way you talk. Next one, reaffirm. You can repeat what they have said, reaffirm, so that you can also acknowledge what they have told you. So reaffirm, use back some of the words they have told you. So you may do something which is very similar with repeating orders, like what they do in the restaurants. And last but not least, B stands for big name. Call their names um, or else sir, madam will be good. So use names when addressing to them. And instead of using we and I, you may want to use more words like you. Because when you mention the word you, they feel that you are talking to them and not based on words like people generally. Speak to them, tell them about you. So these are six key points, the absorb model that I practice, that I share with people in sales, customer service and persuasion. Six key points so that you too can have active listening to better develop, establish liking from others. With that, thank you so much. Signing off, Wesley Chan.